Oh, we had a spirited it. conversation yeah, earlier we in the need hour. Now, he, yeah, we I'm hated in Quebec City this. now. I'm, I'm hated in Dallas. I'm hated yeah. in Arizona. That's for sure. Oh, Jersey, boy. Sacramento, and now Quebec City because I had the audacity to suggest that Quebec City just may not be big enough, may not have enough corporate money to support an NHL team. Where, where do you stand on that, Pierre? Because everyone's wondering, you know, can Quebec City yeah. get back in the dance here? Yeah, I don't think they're a front runner, but certainly when I asked the league source yesterday about whether we should rule out any locations, and the answer I got was, well, first of all, the league is trying to save the team in Phoenix, of course. But um, if it is relocated, my sense of it is that there are no locations that have been written off at this very early juncture. Now, I still think you can do tiers, and, you know, I reported this as have others. I think Greg did. Salt Lake City seems to be emerging early on as a front runner. Um, you know, people have mentioned Houston, Atlanta, but I actually think the league would rather keep those two places for future expansions. By the way, I can't believe we're talking expansion. 32 is enough, people. Anyway, um, but that's the sense we're getting right now. Listen, emotionally, I want a team in Quebec City. I've actually been to that rink that they built. It's gorgeous, by the way. I don't know if you guys yeah. have been there. It's oh, yeah. unreal. It, it, but, Pierre, can enough. I interrupt you, sir? Brian Hayes, sure. yeah. a.k.a. Tom Mayanek, said yeah. there's not enough business there. Yeah, he's, a, he's, he's enough concerned corporate. about the business corp. But, but, that, but that is right, old dog. I, was, I said emotionally I want to see a team Factual. there. I miss the Nordiques. Listen, I, gr I grew up, obviously, on French-Canadian, the Nordiques, the Habs. I love that rivalry. But the corporate money isn't there. That's a big problem. And, and, wow. and listen. It, it, it's not a big conspiracy against like Quebec City entered the official expansion uh, round with Vegas, you know, made their presentation, uh, had every shot at it at the time and they didn't get it. And, and again, I was disappointed because I want a team in Quebec City, but my journalist that my journalist had on uh, Brian Hayes is correct. There is, in Thank my you. opinion, there's just not enough corporate money to, oh to support God. the return of the NHL there. Oh yes. my stand Thank you for seeing dude, it. I, I'm going to puke. I'm going to You can reference. I, dude, my this report. guy's going to act like he's a business journalist no, 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 no. professional Hold sport. Hey, Pierre, whenever you write about it, I'd like you to reference my report, please. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like that I reference. I stand corrected. Well, to be fair, I've quoted both Noodles and O-Dog in my columns over the past month, so I guess I'm down to. Yeah. I, I gotta get hazy in there. Gotta Don't get hazy in there. Yeah. Do not yeah. do it. Economists. Do do I it. love economists. They're yeah. always my yeah. favorite people. They're good people. <laughs> better people. Um, yeah. I mean, listen. It, uh, it sucks, uh, but it, it very well could be a reality. Uh, here's another thing that needs to be considered: that whoever is getting the Coyotes is getting a horrible hockey team. <laughs> and what needs like this is the difference between Vegas and Seattle. The point I'm making is they got a jump start. Because of the the new expansion rules, Vegas went to the Cup final their first year. They're back in a conference final. Seattle got through to the second round in their second year. You're not doing yeah. that with Arizona. They are they are nowhere close to being competitive. So if you relocate them to Houston, Salt Lake City, like a market that doesn't have a history of hockey, it's going to possibly flame out. Because if they're not any good for three or four years, fans might turn out turn, tune them out. Yeah, you know, it crossed my mind, too, after the, the Tempe vote went south. Imagine had the Coyotes won the Connor Bedard draft lottery. Oh my no goodness. kidding. I text that to Noodles. Yeah. What the hell would those guys do if they got Bedard and then got no rink? And by the wow. way, Pierre, was there a level of shocked, shockness when they didn't get it? Um, I, I, <laughs> shockness. Shockness. I'm, I'm, Read I'm, a I'm, Robert I'm, I'm, Munch I'm, book I'm, already. I'm, Here, I'll give you way. one. By the way, that that reminds me of one of the very first bit I did several years ago on this show oh. when O Dog when O Dog claimed he could write a thousand word story just as quick as me. Uh, but anyway, um, shockness. Was there that. shockness, Pierre? That. Please answer the question. Was there shockness? <laughs> um, I, I, I think the <laughs> I think the league had an idea that the oh, vote stuff. was was going to be tight in the weeks in, in the internal polling leading up to that vote, and I think the league started to get. You know, a little skittish there leading up to that night's vote. I still think they hope that it would go through. So I don't know about shock, but probably surprise, like one level below. Um, and, and, and listen, the league statement itself uh, and not coming out and saying a whole lot about trying to go to bat again for keeping the team in Arizona 
speaks volumes. I mean, obviously this is a, a league that has gone to bat for 25 years in this market trying to save this team. And the fact that the reaction this time was, I will see. I mean, that in itself is a headline. Like that has never been the reaction when it, when it's come to the Coyotes. So again, I think they're hoping, hey, is there something with the Phoenix Suns? Is there a, a, a last-minute Hail Mary here? But short of that, and you saw Bill Daly, you know, sent me a note and sent other media outlets to know yesterday saying he believes that the team will have to play at least another year at Mullen Arena in the meantime. But all things being equal, it's never been more apparent to me that uh, the relocation is probably the most likely option right now. Well, Pierre, it's a tough look, and I know the social media people are usually younger and kind of funny, but, like, Arizona's, you know, tweeting out yesterday, somewhere out in the desert, the Coyotes are looking for a new home, and there's a statement and a picture of Captain Kirk, you know, trying to vision out, and then today... They are like, hey, Pac, want to hear from you. Where should the Coyotes build their new home? Like, you know, like it's a multiple choice. Like, I, I know it's just social media engagement, but this isn't a good look for Arizona. This isn't a good look for the league at all. No, it's, it's, it's absolutely a tough look when you consider how many efforts have been made to save this team. You know, Alex Morello has to sell the team as number one. Now, I don't think he's probably in a position right now in his heart where you want to have that conversation. But over time, when all the emotions die down, I think the league's going to have to talk to him and say, dude, like you, you gave it every swing you had here, but this isn't going to work. And once he does that, then it'll be interesting. Like I said, I mean, the Phoenix Suns angle obviously would be the most pleasing to the NHL if, if it's at all possible. But, you know, it's also, you know, it's also been there forever. So, you know, different owner, I have to say that. But, um, short of that, I, I think it will be time to relocate. And, and here's the thing. I get asked by a lot of friends over the years why I haven't been more aggressive about saying it's time for the Coyotes to move. Listen, I was there in the 2012 conference final when they lost to L.A. The place was packed in Glendale. It's not that the market isn't any good. I, I actually think if they could ever get things right from an arena and ownership perspective, that market would be fine. Like, what's the difference between the San Jose Sharks? I always say this. Think about this. The San Jose Sharks and the Arizona Coyotes. Here's the difference. San Jose built a rink downtown right out of the hop, and they've had stable ownership for a very long time. Those, those two things are nothing. They are everything. But my point is, it's not like the Sharks arrived in San Jose where there were way more longtime hockey fans than they were in the desert in Arizona. The difference is ownership instability and arena instability has forever plagued the Arizona Coyotes. And that's why, even though it might be time to finally go, it is a missed opportunity, not to, to steal a phrase from Sheldon Keith, but it's a missed opportunity because because that is a market that had it been done right, I think could have been all right. 